Moshi Moshi My Way Gamers and welcome back to Genshi Impact. Have a Mulani and Kenshi, everyone agrees to for the tournament together. Today, we're going to continue doing the Natland story quest. As in the Archon quest. We are in the city. So do I just... Oh, there we go. This is the place. Let's wait for Mulani here. Did you see the flags at the front gate when we entered? Oh, yeah. There were flags, weren't there? There were also symbols on them. Those are our tribal flags. One for each of the six tribes that make up Netland, including the Children of Echoes. Why the song tour guide routine? <laughs> I said I'd introduce them to Natland, and we've got nothing better to do, so I might as well deliver on the promise. Fair enough. <clears throat> well, I'm from the Scions of the Canopy. We live high in the mountains and have the closest ties to the Yumkasaurs. My friend Moalani belongs to the people of the Springs, a seaside tribe. The scenery over there is beautiful, and you can find some really tasty fish. That just leaves the Flower Feather Clan, the Masters of the Nightwind, and the Collective of Plenty. If we get a chance after the pilgrimage, I'll be sure to show you around. Well, if we're talking tribes, allow me to stand in for our chief and welcome you on behalf of the people of the Springs. Moalani, you're back! We were just talking about you. Everything settled on my end. My teammates took it unbelievably well, actually. Your reputation is really something else, Kanich. They probably just didn't see any drawbacks oh, to your I've never seen his name one. We're saying the same thing here. You, my friend, are a formidable competitor, and they recognize that. Anyway, thanks for waiting, you guys. Uh, let's go register. Mm-hmm. Hello there. Here to register for the pilgrimage? That's right. I wanted to ask, though. These two travelers are very interested in the competition. Any chance they could take part? I'm sorry, but only people from Natlan are eligible to participate. You couldn't make an exception just this once? This traveler is a renowned adventurer. He's more than skilled enough to participate. And I'm sure the audience would be interested in seeing what he can do. It's not that simple, Miss Mulani. Even a single exception sets a dangerous precedent for countless interested parties in the future. The purpose of the pilgrimage is not only to select strong warriors, but also to collect contending fire from the battles. This is the fire that fuels the sacred flame. Natlan is only safe from the invasion of the Abyss while the sacred flame burns eternal. Oh, so there's another purpose for the tournament. That was the initial purpose, actually. Every participant, whether they win or lose, contributes to the defense of our nation. That's what makes it such an honor to take part. Exactly right, Mr. Kanich. Contending fire can only be produced in battles between people of Natlan. Outlander participation would inhibit the production of this fire, which could in turn jeopardize the sacred flame. Oh, so it all comes down to the contending fire. I understand the importance of this event. Well, you can still enjoy the event from the stands. I'll try to get you some good seats. That would be great! Tourists like us are better suited to being spectators anyway. Bill, there's something Paimon was wondering, actually. It's the order of Vokoishni 6. You read Paimon's mind, Traveler. Why doesn't everyone just fight together? You know, since you can bring them back to life. The power of resurrection has its limits. For starters, the Ode only works on those who bear an ancient name. That's also why ordinary people who emerge victorious in the pilgrimage aren't sent to fight the Abyss. It's for their own protection. Although, they're still afforded the same honor as those who triumph over the Abyss in battle. That brings us to the other condition for resurrection. Not much to this one, actually. <laughs> Just one word. Victory. Victory? The victors shall burn bright while the losers must turn to ash. Only those who triumph over the abyss earn the right to be revived. Defeat in battle not only means death, but also the destruction of your ancient name, preventing it from ever being inherited again. The tales of the vanquished are eventually forgotten, and an ancient name cannot survive when the stories of its bearers are lost to time. But why would the victors need to be revived? Yeah, they won, right? defeated ones who need reviving? You have to think about it at the team level. For example, five representatives will be sent to repel the Abyss this time. Even if four of them were to perish, the Ode of Resurrection would still take effect. 
All you need is for one person to return victorious. Because every victory is a building block of our legacy. Of course, the team needs to be strong enough for that to be the case. Otherwise, the price of failure is still very high. That's why the first stage of the pilgrimage is divided into teams. To instill in us the importance of working together. No one fights alone. That is what we believe. A lone warrior is one whose defeat is final. This all sounds pretty dangerous. Well, that axiom is meant to be a warning as much as a source of inspiration. Danger is always present. But together, we can move forward, united in the knowledge that behind every hero charging into battle lies the support of all of Natlan as well as our Archon. Not to mention, the Abyss isn't an enemy with a concrete form. We're often just dealing with the fallout of its scheming. I've actually fallen in battle before. I spent some time wandering the realm of the Wyab. It was unlike anything I'd ever experienced before. The realm of the Wyab? Does that mean the Wyab exists somewhere in Natland? Hard to say. The realm's not somewhere you can access by ordinary means, and very few people are capable of establishing a mental connection with the Wyab. We call this realm the Night Kingdom a mysterious liminal space between the body and mind, life and death. The fact that you were resurrected at all is the worst thing in the world. Oh, where did you came from? Then releasing you from your timeout has got to come in at a close second. <laughs> you would do well to speak with reverence of the almighty dragon, Lord Kahula How! <laughs> Lest you live to regret it. If you're done arguing, your registration is now complete. <sighs> It all went fairly quickly, considering we all know each other. Now, I just need to register your team members according to their name cards, and you'll be all set. <laughs> In the meantime, you can all go rest at the hotel. As usual, dinner and lodging for tonight are free. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, all food and entertainment before tomorrow's matches are on the house, courtesy of our Archon, family and friends included, which means you both get in on it. Come on, let's go have some fun. Yeah, sure. This I say for this episode. Oh my goodness, look at all this. We're gonna go inside some sort of hotel. Look at this place. Damn. It's actually huge from the inside. My goodness, it's like some big suckle. Set the hotel to what? some big suckle. That's a door to a hotel? You serious? What is it open? <gasps> it does. Oh my god. That is actually. Oh my god. Look at this hotel. Damn! Please, we're gonna eat inside and then we're gonna live in here. Even this, uh, this thing tried to. Why did some bad ones try to kill me off camera while I was going for some teleportation spots? Anyways, inside the end. Dig in, you guys. Eat as much as you want. They got tacos? These dishes are all local specialties. I mean, I know it's half Mexican and Africa at the same time, but oh my god, look at this. It's got Taco Bell. I'm actually just gonna move to see see this. There's more where this came from, too, so don't be shy. Let's feast until the bill gives the Archon a heart attack. Don't be dramatic. The Pyro Archon is very generous. Even if it does cause some trouble for all the hotel workers and volunteers. Speaking of trouble, I've locked a Howe away for now. So you don't have to worry about him being a nuisance. Wait, isn't that a little harsh? Nah, Kenich and a Howe are always like that. Everyone has their own unique way of getting along with their Saurian companion. Hmm. What's got you all down in the dumps, Kachina? You don't have to worry about tomorrow. I'll be with you every step of the way. I know, I know. Everything's fine, really. I'm just... I'm just nervous. I can't keep using my age as an excuse. I have to get stronger. I have to prove to people that I'm not trying to avoid the Night Warden Wars. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. You know your own heart. So stop beating yourself up over other people's opinions. If they don't think you deserve to bear your ancient name, they can take it up at the Wyab. Trust me, Kachina. The Wyab see something special in you. I just hope it's not the fact that oh, I can take Kachina, a few Katrina, punches. okay, people? Like that meme? I'm guessing the pilgrims hasn't gone to in the past. Yeah, I'm on a seven or eight pilgrimage losing streak. My ranking has been improving little by little, but... Still no wins. To be honest, losing seven or eight times isn't even a lot. Maybe other people can't see your improvement, but your performance still isn't something to scoff at. Yeah, didn't you say you got really close before? It's just... What if I don't even make it through the team stage this time? Hey, have a little faith, will you? 
You've got me on your team. Stumble, and I'll be there to get you back on your feet. Run into someone you can't beat, and we'll face them together. I know you've never tasted victory, but you trust me, don't you? Lilani, you're... you're the best. No, you don't give a hug. She probably needs one. I trust you. I definitely do. And you're right. I've got to pull myself together. Yeah, pull too. I two. still don't know why the Lyab chose me to inherit an ancient name, but... I can't be the only bear who's ever felt this way. If they can keep at it, so can I. Not to mention, the fact that your ancient name has survived until now means all your forebears managed to honor its meaning. Otherwise, it would be lost to us by now, shattered by defeat in battle. That's right! And you'll have us rooting for you too! This cost chili us one and two. No, no, no. It should be the other way around. I was clearly the one who asked to learn from you, but still. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. <sighs> Jeez, now I'm crying again. <laughs> Everyone has been so nice to me today. I'll win this time for sure. I won't let your support go to waste. Oh, right. I should eat something. My mom said I need to keep up my strength for tomorrow. Nice to see your game face back, Katina. Thanks for encouraging her, you two. It's easy for people to only see how she has a lot to learn, so it isn't often that she meets people willing to treat her with patience. Don't you worry. We've seen how kind and hardworking she is. We can already tell she's a wonderful person. Still crying. Take it easy. You're getting tears in your food. It's flavor! I... I'll pour you all some drinks. I brought some homemade fruit juice. Let me just go grab some cups. She's still calling. <laughs> go she even travels with homemade juice? <laughs> Kachina's backpack is practically a bottomless pit. It's got everything. <sighs> That's true, but she definitely only offered us some so she could go find somewhere to cry for a little while. Seems like you two really look out for her. She's like a little sister to me, you know? She's already so talented. She just needs that one decisive win to convince her of it. And I have a feeling this is the one. This could be the win that finally gives her that confidence. Why are you so sure? Is that what happened to you? Oh, no, no. I was just born confident. Mulani's being modest. She's already a three-time veteran of the Night Warden Wars. Came out on top each time. And she's never had to be resurrected. Wow, that's amazing! Nah, it's no big deal. The opponents I had to face were pretty tame, that's all. Oh, no wait, that makes it sound too unimpressive. Either way, the challenges haven't been that difficult so far. But I'd love to fight alongside Kachina and experience the glory of victory together. The flowers, the applause... Paimon gets it! That's how Paimon and the Traveler are too! <laughs> uh, fighting side by side, yeah, I guess. Hey, a little more confidence, please! Paimon's always there to cheer you on! Even though I'm bleeding to death, he's still cheering me Yay! Zita, I'm bleeding. Drinks are here. <laughs> better try them while they're still fresh. Feeling better now, Kachina? Me? <laughs> I'm totally fine. Really, I promise. That was just nerves earlier. Saying totally means you're not shy. I'm gonna get some meat in my system, then head out to get some exercise. Wanna be nice and loose for the tournament tomorrow. I'll come with you. Just don't go overboard, okay? The last thing we need is for someone to oversleep. We've got an early day tomorrow. <laughs> if only we had a friend who never oversleeps. All right, fine. I'll make sure you guys are up on time. Oh, he does. Boy, we need catch on. Mm -hmm. So full. <laughs> so sleepy. We should get a good night's sleep before the competition tomorrow. I go inside. <gasps> a little worried about Katina, though. Maybe we can help her out with her training. She did say she wanted to learn from us. Not that Paimon's gonna be doing much of the teaching. You guys notice this is optional. Is this became Hong Kong style well? Even though it's the same company, the guilds are option to find Kachina. Actually, let me just say real quick. Welcome to Scarlet's Taco Pal. Da, business has been totally booming. Wait, I don't have any. God damn, I just burned myself to death by my puppet. How's that gonna look? Are they down there? Oh, yeah, they're right there. Is this part of the optional thing? 
Stomp away! Yeah. You got shoving on the knee, don't you? Don't you? Hello? Hello? Oh, never mind. Guess not. Is she fisty? Kachina! Oh, it's you two! I just finished training with Lilalani. What's up? Well, you worked so hard to introduce us to Natlan, we wanted to return the favor! I thought I could thought I could share some experience with you. Wow, you guys are exactly like Kachina described. No wonder she's already your biggest fan. I guess I should make myself scarce though. Kachina was the one who helped you out all day, so I don't want to intrude on your secret teachings. Hmm. It's just a simple piece of advice, actually. Huh? What do you mean? Office observation is also key. Observation? Study your opponent, master the habits. The person who hits the hardest isn't always the one who wins. Oh, I... I think I get it. You're saying, fight smarter, not harder. Yeah. Having to win is just as important as knowing the right strategy. Atta girl, Kachina. Exploit your opponent's weaknesses while maximizing your own strengths, and you're sure to find opportunities to turn the tides in your favor. You're right. I just need to focus. When I get nervous, I forget to assess the situation and end up rushing in without a plan. Mind sticking around a little longer, Mualani? I want to try out some new moves. Sure. Thanks for taking the time to teach me, you two. I won't let you down. Just give it your best shot. Yeah. We got it. So, until the next day. Alright, well, my teammates. Well, I'm not going to be with them. Just waiting for me. Morning, Hello. Looks like everyone's here right on time. <laughs> Good to see that no one overslept. Says the one who only made it because I was there to get you. How? Wow, not so loud. You're gonna give me a headache. Well, if you don't do well today, we know who to blame now, don't we? <laughs> see how your friends talk to me, Kanich. I help you wake them up, make sure everyone's on time, and do I get a thank you, a how? No! I get told off! You meanie! Mualani's right, though. <sighs> Hopeless. Every last one of you. Alright, moving on. How did you sleep last night, Kachina? I had some nerves at first, but my bed was great. I fell asleep the minute my head hit the pillow. That's good to Are those two NPCs he's, he's dropping us? You know. The competition's about to start. Did everyone eat something? A little. I didn't want to overdo it. Oh no! We were so busy focusing on the tournament, we forgot to buy something! I thought that might happen. Here, I brought you some. Thanks. No thanks necessary. I'll treat you to something even better once... Attention everyone! The tournament is about to begin! All contestants proceed to the venue! I repeat, all contestants proceed to the venue! Well, I'd say more, but that's our cue! The opening ceremony is what kicks everything off. You should be able to see Kachina and me from the stands. We're counting on you to cheer us on. Don't you worry! Paimon's gonna cheer so loud, you'll hear it across the stadium! Thanks, you two. I'll be sure to keep an ear out. Well, we should get going. See you later. Okay, bye-bye! Alright, the battle... They're doing... I like how they have the toggle stand. The toggle icon. As a Attention, sign. Attention, everyone! The tournament's about to begin. All spectators, please take your seats. I repeat, all spectators, please take your seats. Ooh, that's our cue! Wow! We've definitely never witnessed a competition of this scale before. Let's go in once you're ready. Oh, I'm better. Get the SPs like, I'll touch her, I'll touch her, and get your ass in the seat. Oh, wait, talk to the NPC. Entering the stadium of the Sacred Flame? You won't be able to leave the arena once the tournament begins. Yeah, doing the development certain certain of systems of function will not be built. But it will be stored once the competition ends. To so ensure you have the best experience, it will let you experience the next part of the story when you have time to complete it. Okay, I have, um, I do have that, um, say on where if I don't turn on, don't accidentally bump to some story because best I'm doing off camera. And to the stand. It's called focus mode. Um, if I, if I turn, if you turn it on, it means you're focusing on story quest. You don't want to accidentally bumping the into the main story quest by accident, doing the grinding. History. Countless hopefuls have gathered here today, each vying for the same prize. The right to serve their homeland in the Night Warden Wars. Before we begin, 
allow me to remind everyone of the rules. Today's tournament begins with the team stage before advancing hey, hey, to the NPCs. That's pretty cool. Each team oh, wow. will board a hot air balloon, which will land at a random location. Damn. You know, are they gonna be like a playable kill with hell bladed? Maybe they would. Who knows? Contestants must search for fire towers within the contest grounds. Accumulate contending fire through combat and bring a sufficient amount back to the stadium. Defeat in combat, departure from the contest grounds, and running out of time all lead to elimination. Only the strongest teams will be able to withstand the onslaught of battle and return to the arena, blazing fire in hand. Only those who emerge triumphant in the team stage earn the right to take part in the individual battles. The outcome of these one-on-one -on -one matches not only affects the contestants' individual scores, but also determines their next opponent. After many rounds of battle, the contestants with the top five rankings will get the chance to take part in the Night Warden Wars. Now, let us welcome our Archon as she delivers the opening address. Oh shit! Do I just appear? Oh god, the boobang going in the first. What the fuck? The outfit? Oh shit! She looks sick! I'm going to main her when she comes out. I'm gonna save the pool for her. She just has ch shiny childlet. If you watch the anime. Form. Many factors influence strength, but victory never lies. The pilgrimage is not merely a trial to determine the strength. Actually, people say she's just like a biker. But also kind of does. I see it. Your but she looks goddamn. Today marks the beginning of yet another legendary saga, one written in the triumphs of the victors. So, without further ado, let the games begin. So that's the pyro archon. Uh, is it just my mind? Does she seem kind of intimidating? Kachina said she was friendly and welcoming, but uh, how did she come to that conclusion? She does seem pretty imposing. Didn't Kachina say she was just an ordinary person before becoming the Archon? Sure doesn't seem like it. Who the hell glowed on fire? She doesn't seem ordinary at all. Oh, oh look, it's Kachina and the others. Well, folks, it's clear the contestants are already raring to go. The teams will now board their hot air balloons and make their way to the competition grounds. Yeah, <gasps> oh my god, another pretty woman? Kick their butts, Ichna! Go, Bulani, go! You can do it, Kachina! Chanting the names. And the crowd goes wild! The hot air balloons are about Can I see what it looks like? I want to see what it looks like. To take oh yeah, a glimpse of how she Ooh, is the other guy seen the leaks. Remember the rules. The balloons will take you to random locations, and your battle starts the moment you land. Best your competition, collect sacred fire, and bring it back to the stadium. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, good luck. Star players, star players, those kills. I think we are. I guess this is where we're starting. Oh. Let me see. It seems pretty quiet around here. Looks like we get to ease ourselves into combat today. Let's head that way. We don't need to worry about avoiding other teams. Anyone that crosses our path can kiss their chances goodbye. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Just remember, don't hesitate. The team matches are all about keeping the energy up. So let's do it. Mm -hmm. And with that, the pilgrimage is now underway. <gasps> I'm being these guys. Fire tower, and an unoccupied one from the looks of it. Yo, Mia, who are you? <laughs> it's like, look out for an ambush. Careful, we've got company. Right, Gina, let's finish this back. <laughs> looks like we've done us. Okay, this is a child kill. That's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Aye, aye. Blay, blay, no asses. Blay, 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 Oh god, oh god, oh shit, oh goodness, I am literally stomping more than once. Okay, I was in my pile and I did that too, so gotta be careful. Yo, your water! Okay, get out, get out, get out. Let me just swing. 
<laughs> well, attack style is pretty fun, actually, when she swings at it. I take my fish! Take my fishies! They're pretty delicious! Oh, it's actually possible. Yeah, make you wet. <laughs> Swing your spear. We won! We're just getting started. Grab the fire and let's head to the next spot. Currently in the lead, we have Chuck. One of the contestants from the Flower Feather Clan, really leaving her competitors in the dust. Amru has taken out six contestants in a row. What a legendary competitor! But can his hot streak continue? Oh, this is this might be this might be a good stroke as good as Fountain. It might be. The Pierce opinion could be so fucked up sometimes. From what I see on social media. Uh, well, aren't you two an interesting duo? How did these monsters make it onto the grounds? It's part of the tournament. If you can't handle a few monsters, how are you supposed to repel the abyss? Look, why don't we handle these monsters first? Then we can battle them. Oh, the stance deals. Ouch! Okay, careful. <laughs> I love how Ice does that. Looks pretty funny. An NPC fighting? Oh wait, never mind. That's a bad guy. Oh, that's a good guy! Is that a saw? Swing. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get them. Get out, get out, get out. Kachina, swing at them! We could do this. Oh, 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 oh. Swing at those guys. And then space. And swing! Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. We actually beat a legend! Come on, don't just stand there. Let's grab the fire and go. Teabag! Team pulling ahead! Mulani and Kachina have already eliminated several favorites for the win! Teabag them! I hope the icon loves it! I hope she does! Well, we don't know if she does or not. It's kind of, kind of stupid. Now take. Alright, next. Guess we go down or we go up? Oh, up there. Oh, this requires some climbing. And yes, it does. So, we'll need Katrina. I knew someone would show up. Hand over the sacred fire and no one gets hurt. Don't give a fluck! We are going up. They could fight. I, I thought we could yeah, fight each other. Oh, the fighting! Go, go! You got it! You got it! I'm gonna cheat! Woo! Ah! Okay, never mind. I'm gonna go up. Uh, could you get into both the fudge and move with me? Then why in Turbo Troll does the climb speed require increase? Hold her until skill tight, Turbo Troll. This mountain is huge. Is the next tower really all the way up there? It's going to take forever to make it to the top. Nah. Yeah. We enter. We made it. Great work, Kachina. Oh shit! <laughs> Glad I could help. An empty fire We're too late. Darn it! So close. And another competitor crosses the finish line. Ian-san from the Collective of Plenty certainly living up to some lofty. Um. Kachina, is that you? I'm sorry about this, but since we ran into each other, I can't just let you pass. If you want glory, out of the way, you have to go away. Eh, try to stop. Trying to stop. Eh, hiya. 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 This is how you fuck your girl. Oi, a man. Go gay. Okay. Nah, we're good. Ah, uh -huh. stuck on the ground. That's hilarious. Huh? Why are you panicking? Hey, you good? What's going on with you? Hold it right there. That fire is mine. <laughs> In your dreams, I think someone needs a reality check, and I'm more than happy to oblige. Oh, they're going at it. Let's hope uh, oh, have a good time. Mind. Like to see you try. Hey, let's work together. Good idea. No way I'm getting the pain out of my place. you find each other. You're funny. Oh, this is a Do this. Do you all? Double. 
Ooh. Swing. Ooh. Swing again. <laughs> like baseball. Get down. Yeah, take this. Hey! Ooh! Oh my God! That be shut up! Damn it! That's crazy! Damn! Hydro ability. Grab. Still doing all right, Katina. Yeah, all good. Yeah. We'll be good. We'll be okay. Oh yeah, hey you too! You're just gonna stand there like oh wait, don't go guys. Uh while the nostril blessing, Maluna can wise spirit ways. Use her elder skills to enter night hole's blessing. <gasps> Ooh, so I just had to touch it. Oh no, what Billy said. Oh my god, look what's surfing! Whee! Oh my god, this is this is cool! <laughs> oh god, yes! Wee! A small warrior. Hey, what's still going? Hey, Alcon! You acknowledge me? You acknowledge my tribal chief and my being? Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fight around. Someone find below us. Back when we first met, right? I accidentally knocked over your piece of cake, then offered to take you spirit way serving to make up for it. Actually, I was feeling pretty down that day. We training didn't go well, and... Anyway, you really cheered me up. Mm, I... I really want to win this time. I want to win this pilgrimage and become a true warrior. That's what I like to hear. We... Hey, I'm staying there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place down. Okay. Congratulations, Mulani. Congratulations, Kachina. You've successfully cleared the team stage. Amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Keep it up, Mulani. Kachina. Hey, I was Tanjo speaking from that. <laughs> you two can take a short break while the team stage comes to a close. We'll draw names to determine the individual matchups in a moment. After that, we'll proceed to the next stage of the competition. I wish you both the best. You two are assigned to different lounge areas. If you'll follow me, please, Kachina. Solo battle. Oh. Next. And I was three wins short last time. I've got to do better. Just calm down, Kachina. You're in good form. You can do this. Hold it right there. This is the contestants' lounge. Unauthorized access is prohibited. We're contestants too. Let us through. According to my list, you're not among the individual match contenders, nor are you related to any of the remaining candidates. Well, we'd still be candidates if it was just based on strength. We only lost because two other contestants snuck up on us like cowards. If you could just go contact the referee, we'll wait right here for you to... Oh. Wait, you two are. Well, look who we have here. Remember us? Yo! Your little trick got us disqualified. You shoved us aside. You saw that? Since we've crossed paths again, let's settle this once and for all. We'll see who truly deserves to advance to the next stage. Fight us! Right now? Don't mind him, Kachina. Tournament rules place you under no obligation to honor that request. Our loss is a loss, and that's final. You! Don't just stand there! Get security over here now! Damn, this place is getting... Forget the rules! Isn't the pilgrimage about picking the strongest warriors? She just happened to catch us off guard! 
It was all luck. They're being toxic. Exactly. Now's our chance to duke it out fair and square. I'm just Christina! A, I'm just a child. <gasps> Did I just walk in? Hey, no, that's better than nothing. I'm happy to applaud, bitch. Who are you? The main character, well, the legendary Ether. Traveler, Paimon, what are you doing here? We just came to have a chat, and then all of a sudden, these guys were threatening you. <laughs> You're not bullying Kachina on our watch. Uh, thanks, you guys. I don't know your names. But if you really want to face me, I'll allow it. It has to wait until after the tournament, though. I need to focus on the upcoming matches. I don't want to let my parents down. Or any of the friends who helped me get this far. That's enough, you two. Being caught off guard is not an excuse. Exactly. You cry foul play when you face the abyss? If this behavior persists, you may find yourselves barred from future competition. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. Do the smack because they want to win. Are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No. Thanks to you. To be honest, I totally blanked out just now. I had no idea what to do. Focus on your upcoming matches. Right. I... I'll show them what I'm made of. That sounds more like it. You can do it! I heard there was trouble. Has the situation been resolved? Yes. It was nothing out of the ordinary. A couple of sore losers coming to stir up trouble with the contestants. <sighs> Some people are so obsessed with glory, they can't even bear the idea of failure. Exactly. I hope you don't let him get to you, Kachina, because you'll need to get ready. Your match is up soon. That came up quick. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> well, guess I'm off. Don't make you a hug to help you come your nerves. It's like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I can't just be with you, I don't want to go alone up there, but okay, I got this. Yeah, I totally got this! <laughs> Am I from a friend? <laughs> Shit, I'm done! Okay, so you go this way. Um, open the door. Ooh, I like how he does that. Is this the NPC? You must be Kachina. You know. Oh god, people yeah. People told me I got lucky in the draw, but I beg to differ. There are no coincidences in the arena. If you're standing here, it means you're strong. No matter what anyone says. No, he thinks. Goku, you said strong, and she comes in. He comes out. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're made of. The team stage ended before I had my fill of battle. I hope you don't disappoint. Well, anything you want to say in return? I, I won't lose to you. Not when so many people are supporting me and cheering for me, and I, I really want to earn a spot in the Night Warden Wars. All right, our contestants have each said their piece. To your places, everyone. <laughs> and begin. Oh uh, yeah, I'm vision holder. You're gonna die anyway, so get, get a boom, get a boom, get a boom, get a boom, get a boom. Don't care, get a bounce around. Like I'm waiting you. I'm a child. Chill, people. I'm doing this to kick his ass, even though I'm bleeding. I'm okay. That's more like it. Again. Again. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you're tired. Look at you. Spank. Give you a spanking. <laughs> yeah, you let up. You. They will acknowledge me. What I could do? Ouch! Never mind. Don't do that. Bounce, bounce, bounce again. Bounce around like you do to your um wife. Oh, spindles. That wouldn't matter either way. Yeah, he's swinging at him. Like how he dresses though. This NPC looks unique. They dress like almost like, as they carve out some enemies they fought off. As in those creatures. That are a bit of a maybe accident. Yeah, I beat your ass now what? <coughs> I actually lost. <laughs> Knew I had an eye for the good ones. Guess that means I was right about you all along. They're like more expensive this quest. Congratulations to Kachina for taking the win! Let's give her a round of applause, everyone. Now, diving into the other matchups. That's one down! Woohoo! Next fight? Oh my god, this this quest is giving me goosebumps, just like Fountain. Hey, look at her! Knock down down. Ooh! <gasps> Damn! You just broke kick her? 
this bro kick? Oh, is that a drop kick? Is this WWE I'm watching now? <laughs> I'll KO them. Or cut stomp, or add to adjustments, or spill like your know, like, bomb breakers, or a bomb range. She somehow won apparently? Oh la la. Oh, is that a dude? Where do you come from, kid? Nah, that's a lady. You've got what it takes to go to war. I hate to break it to you, but it won't be easy to get through me. And you are. <laughs> you don't recognize me? <laughs> Figures. Our generation's been in decline ever since Atea and the others retired from the front lines. Either way, once we face off, you won't forget my name anytime soon. <laughs> let's do this. Okay, let's go. You treat for her! Exhilarating cheer to the crowd! Dog! Yeah! How strong is she? How strong? Oh, never mind. I thought she's not taking damage. Nah! <laughs> You're trying to. Woo! You're trying to dodge me! You don't hit me just those temples! Oh my god! Is this allowed? Yes, that's allowed! What? So I could cheat! No, no, no! No, uh, uh. Don't do that shit to me. Don't care, you try to hit me. You're slow with that movement. Even if you're fast, I would dodge your skill. Okay, I'll do my special once. Yeah, she does that. Wide! Boom, boom, boom. What the hell? Are you just sucking? <gasps> oh, climb! Wait, your ability is not even up! I used it to fight it! That's not good. I'm just going up. Hey! Your crystals! You don't need it! You know a trick or two. Hey, uh, wind the kneecaps. Where you go? What you doing? Nah, it doesn't matter. Get your ass over here. Boing, boing, boing. Like I'm riding you, like your mom. Wait, that doesn't sound right how I said it. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep spinning. I'm gonna keep stomping. Just like my blade blade ability. This is what this is what thing with just what drill reminds me of a blade like my childhood. Take this. You okay, out. You good. You good. I'm bleeding. My friends are watching me. Below my tail. They like, don't die on me. I'm good. I'm good. You think I'm dead? You think I'm dying? I'll be okay. Just need to bounce around her. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, I forgot that does that too. When it does that, you gotta move out of the way. Stay your cinema. I'm freezing cold. Get out of the way. Okay, we're good, we're good. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Oi! What are you doing? Ooh, that's unique and all. I could climb, you know that? I am climbing and dancing, shaking my little. What's the hell? Never mind. Hey, fucker! It's like, ah! Why the fuck you. Um, are you gonna move? Are you moving? Ooh. Acknowledge me! <sighs> Gotta hand it to you, kid. You really impressed me. I take back what I said before, Match. You've got what it takes, Kachina. Youngsters like you, you'll forge your own miracles. And it's Kachina for the win! We'll now head into a short break as our contestants prepare for the final round of competition. Oh, don't tell a fight against my friend. Well, your friend. So who am I gonna fight against? But I'm worried! Thanks for cheering me on, you two. You were great! There. You faced a lot of impressive competitors, but they never stood a chance. I don't think I did too shabby either. They've never gotten this many points before. You ready for the last round, Kajina? Hmm, they might fight each other, but I have a feeling about this. But I don't know, it's not going to fight. I got permission to come see you before the last round starts. Based on your score, it looks like you'll make it to the Night Warden Wars if you win your next match. But, uh, your final opponent... It's me. Ah! How fortunate. Yeah, I just found out myself. We're really close in the rankings, so 
Only the winner gets to move forward. But I... I wanted to fight alongside you. I did too, but it is what it is. People with similar scores tend to get matched against each other. But we just have to get past it. War is cruel, and the Abyss certainly isn't going to go easy on us. Only Natlan's strongest deserve to stand against them. So, I'm going to give this battle my all, Kachina. And I hope you do the same. To hand victory to your opponent is to take pity on them. But no one's asking for pity here, yeah? So, you ready? I... I'll do my best! Atta girl. So, if one of you has to lose, who should we cheer for then? <laughs> Doesn't matter! You mean one of us is destined to win? It's something worth celebrating either way. I'll be happy no matter who wins. And I know you feel the same way, Kachina. Traveler, like, no, I come don't. on. I'll see you after the match. Kachina, I'll see you on the field. I'll just call it WWE Wing. But against the Impact version. <laughs> Kachina. I've been training so long for this, and Mualani's helped so much. I'm going to show her that it didn't go to waste. Thanks for believing in me. I'll try believing in myself this time, too. Okay, so time for the next battle. Let's go fight. That's how it opens. Look, watch this. Oh, never mind. That wouldn't be cool if it did. All right! the semi-finals oh look how she sits down oh look at the angle okay we've arrived at the final phase the winner of this match will take the final spot among the victors give it up for a long time contender and first time finalist from the children of echoes Katrina like, acknowledge me! I know I'm fighting my friend! God damn it! <laughs> the main character. <laughs> you get this, Kachina! Winds up! A young prodigy and night warden wars veteran! I was trying to suck it. Like, suck it! Promises to be an explosive showdown! May the best warrior win! You've come so far. Still nervous? Oh, why does it have to be you? I want to choose. Still, I'm glad in a way. Even if I lose, I won't have any regrets. Come on. <sighs> Kachina, this is no time to be modest. I know you want this more than me. And it's about time you start sounding like it, okay? Oh. Uh, I want to win. I mean, she says, I promise you would easy on you so you win. Like, what the fuck? You didn't go hard on me? No! I would easy on you, Kachina! Oh! Okay, never mind. That's fine enough. Her star is sliding. You gotta watch it. Drill it! This is like a blade blade battle. Oh my god, yeah! Big! I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. I wish I should cut her. Acknowledge you now. Like you have been acknowledged. <laughs> like one's up. <laughs> the winner is from the children of Echoes, Katina. <laughs> so yes, I did it, my travel chief. I did it. 
like you have to acknowledge just like me <laughs> all right this is amazing with that, the winners of this pilgrimage have been decided put your hands together for our victors as we welcome them to the stage with her sixth consecutive win Cheska of the flower feather clan oh my god i can see how she looks like oh shit she managed to turn the tides all by herself. Ionsan of the Collective of Plenty. Oh my god, half elf Keltus. With an explosive comeback ten years in the making. Kaiulani of the People of the Springs. A seasoned and renowned warrior. Kibungu of the Scions of the Canopy. Last but not least, finally living up to her true potential. Kajina of the Children of Echo. I'm not the only child, yeah! Over here, Kajina! I... I made it. Feels like a dream. This is no dream. Your strength is what got you here. We'll be going to war together. It's an honor to fight alongside you, Kachina. Oh. No matter how many pilgrimages I witness, I'm always overwhelmed with pride in this moment. Pride for you, my brave warriors. You give me faith that our innumerable sacrifices are not in vain. That the future of Natland shall burn with the brilliance of a blazing fire. Brave warriors, the following is an order and also a personal request. Go forth and crush the abyss. Seize victory and glory for Natland! Yeah! As the crowd of the chills, the pillar draws to a close. Ooh. Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Hey, at least you're not bleeding. Hello, I'd be pissed. But she cuts your wounds. I wanted to thank you for supporting Kachina back there. She really has grown into a formidable competitor. She deserved that win. Not that it feels good to lose, but I'm happy for her. <laughs> oh, it's definitely bittersweet, though. Hey, wanna go for a walk? Kachina and the others will be busy fighting the abyss, so why don't I show you around Natland for a while? Sure! What do you say, Traveler? What am I thinking? Uh, something on your mind? This is the first time fighting in the night when boys, right? Listen, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. But she's got experienced, powerful companions to take the lead. I'm sure they'll be fine. Glory always comes with a risk. If victory was assured, no one would take pride in it. She's not one to fall so easily. She bears the ancient name Uthabiti, after all. We just need to hold the fort while they're gone. Come to think of it, you've never visited my tribe, have you? Come on, I'll take you. The people of the springs live alongside the Kaholasaurus. Our tribe is an ideal spot for some R&R. &R. I'll take you to all the best spots, you'll love it. Looks like you beat me to it. Oh, he wanted to come too. Kinich? I was planning on inviting you to visit the Scions of the Canopy. Most of the adventures that belong to the guild come from my tribe, so I figured you might be interested. Hey, first come, first served. You snooze, you lose, Kinich. Oh, you go second. Yeah, yeah, you were first. Still, Traveler, Paimon, feel free to stop by if you ever have time. You're always welcome. Thank you very much. Let's pack up and head out. Oh, should I have a goodbye? Aw, oh, man, this is be exciting. <laughs> oh, what was this? What was it with nothing tries unlocked? <gasps> oh! So now we're heading somewhere so far away. Let me talk to you real quick before we go. What are your plans, Kanich? I've got to deliver some ceremonial artifacts back to my tribe. I didn't place too well in this pilgrimage, so now that it's over, it's time to get home and get back to work. You didn't get enough points? Yeah. I got injured during the team round and wound up losing two key matches during individual competition. Both against opponents I'd faced many times in the past. We've each had our fair share of wins and losses. It happens. <laughs> That's what you get for locking me away earlier. <laughs> get used to the taste of karma. Uh, may those injuries be the first. <sighs> hey! What are you doing? 
after staring down at you because you're funny and annoying. So let's go. Oh, that's a try place? Okay, I was expecting to be over here while I was exploring around, getting the teleport spots. I didn't get all of it though because I feel like I'm getting the important piece only. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Oh my goodness. This is a tribe. This is like a party place. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, he's playing. Oh my god, everyone's. Oh wow! Um, is that fun in the corner? Uh, see, what did I tell you? <sighs> Wait, <laughs> is that a copy bottle? Battle is just the best. What is it doing here? Fetch me a bottle of wine, would you, dear? Just one? Let's get another. It's still early in the day, isn't it? Want to go to Golden Dusk later? <laughs> now this is a vacation. Absolutely amazing. Wow, it's so lively around here. Is there some kind of holiday going on? We try to treat every day like a holiday around here. We believe every day is worth celebrating. Now, let me show you around. Hmm, where to start? Show Chiqui Cattle Records. Kalumchi Plaza. Oh, there's so many options, but I recommend starting with the real highlight around here. The real highlight? The hot springs, of course. Natural hot springs have tons of health benefits. Go for a nice long soak and you're guaranteed a good night's sleep. Uh, wait, you want us to bathe? Here? Oh, don't be shy. Come on, I'll take you to get changed. Oh, uh, wait, seriously? Mulani. Who's speaking? Huh? Uh, oh my god! Whoa. Please, I've told you that just Atea is fine. Do I look that old to you? <sighs> Were you taking these two to the hot springs? That's right. Oh, let me introduce you. This is the Traveler, and the small one next to him is Paimon. They only just arrived in Natland, so I'm taking them around to experience our customs. Hi there! Hmm. And you are? Uh, I'm Mualani's neighbor, Atea. By the way, Mualani, I heard you lost a Kachina during the pilgrimage. Is that true? Yeah, I was this close to winning. Oh, definitely not the result I wanted, but still not too surprising. Kachina's always been strong. Anyway, it's all in the past. I'm gonna take these two for a dip in the hot springs. Talk to you later. Oh, wait. You'll need swimsuits first. Hmm, I'm sure I can find Wait, that's all a vision from the NPC? I'll go look. Can I see her again one more time? Right there, young lady. Have you forgotten the rules? Wait, is she gonna be another playable character, or some NPC holding a vision just like the one in Samaru? Rule? Oh wait, you mean there's a rule about bathing in the hot springs? That's right. Outlanders have to complete a trial at an artificial hot spring before they're allowed access to the natural ones. Do we have to fight something? It's not nearly as scary as it sounds. Basically, natural hot springs have higher temperatures that not everyone can withstand. A few travelers have gotten scalded by the water in the past, so now we have an unwritten rule. All outlanders need to adapt to the lower temperature artificial springs first. But seriously, Auntie Atea, do we have to be so strict? These two are formidable adventurers. I know they can handle it. <laughs> Famous last words. The hot springs are not to be underestimated. You can never be too careful. Besides, the environment's been unstable lately. Could be a sign that the Abyss is about to attack. Oh, that sounds dangerous. You know, Paimon's really not all that formidable, so careful is good. Exactly. There will be no excessive risk-taking on my watch. Mulani, take them to the artificial spring first. Okay, okay. That's more like it. And don't try anything funny. I'm heading to the artificial spring in a bit, and if I don't see you there... Your days of copping free meals at my place are done. Relax, relax. Oh, by the way, Atea, how have you been feeling lately? What's a sky? How else would I have the energy to keep an eye on all you rascals? Hey, you over there! How many times have I told you no roughhousing near the hot springs? Oh, shoot! That weird lady's back again! You call me weird? Uh, run! Uh, stop right there! Ugh, you need a stern talking to! She sure has a lot of energy. You seem really close. <laughs> She's a legend in our tribe. Everyone knows her. Back before I inherited my ancient name, she was one of Natland's most renowned warriors. Famous for her love of hot springs. 
In fact, she often threw parties at the hot springs. She referred to anyone who came to these parties as her hot spring buddies. The attendees were all respected warriors like Liliuo, Kayulani, Vichama, oh, and the Archon. If Paimon lived here, she would take advantage of the hot springs too. It's just... During battle, she was impaled in the abdomen by an abyssal monster. The doctors managed to save her life, but they made it clear that she could never bathe in the hot springs again. Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. Oh, no wonder she has so many scars. Paimon had no idea she was so seriously injured. That's normal. She never talks about her injury. She's worked tirelessly over the years to dig up artificial springs so that more and more people can experience our tribe's natural wonders, even though she can't enjoy them herself. I really respect her for that. Anyway, let's head to the artificial springs. If Auntie Atea gets there before us, we're gonna be in some real hot water. Yeah. Guess what took you a bath? I'm just wearing my clothes on still. Okay, she's just standing up there. Waiting for our destructions to start. Oh, I see. That's a great idea. I like it. See, I told you the chief would agree. Well, let's get moving then. We can't let a word of this slip to anyone else. Hey, what? Amina, Hikaru, Marakao. You three seem particularly cheerful today. What's the occasion? Oh, Mulani, <laughs> you're back. Um, who are these two? I'm the most legendary. This is the Traveler and Paimon, two very important guests. I wanted to take them to the natural hot spring, but Auntie Atea caught us, so we had to come here first. Oh, what a coincidence! We were just talking about her. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. Really? How can you tell? Okay, so while you've been busy with the pilgrimage, we noticed that she's been visiting the hot springs alone at night. Yeah, specifically the hot springs in the cave to the north of our settlement. I'm sure you know the one. Apparently, she used to go there a lot before they became abandoned for some reason. Yeah, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Yeah, so we got to thinking, what if we renovated the abandoned spring behind her back, then threw her a huge surprise party? Chief Amina thinks it's a great idea, too. So, you want in? Of course! How could you even think of pulling this off without me? I'm a little busy right now, though. I'll come find you once we're done at the hot springs. <laughs> of course! Take your time. You should focus on our guests for now. These artificial springs are pretty new, but the experience is just as good as the natural ones, if you ask me. We really worked hard on them, so I hope you enjoy. And you two, I know you want to focus on Atea's surprise, but don't forget your patrol duties in the meantime. The Abyss could attack at any moment. So we need to stay vigilant. You got it, Chief. We'll keep an eye out. You can count on us. All right, we're off then. See you at the abandoned spring, Mulani. All right. I'm also gonna head out. Have fun! What an instrument. Do I get to have that my own? Finally, it's hot spring time! Oh, I already arranged swimwear for you guys, by the way. Come on, I'll show you to the changing room. <gasps> Wait, I get to see hi. Where's the changing room? Oh, it's not that far away. Let's take a look. What <gasps> is this where she got hers? Oh, interesting. Where does she live from, actually? Oh, she, what she live from down here? Like some locker room? Oh, wow. Look at this place. I would stay here. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> changing outfits. Wait. Why does it fit surprisingly well? Uh. <sighs> oh! Ho, ho. Is that pigtail behind the back? Ooh! I'm. Do I get to wear that? Oh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. So, what do you think? Can you feel the warmth relax every muscle in your body? Mm hmm. If this was a different language, people think it'd be lewd noises. Yeah. The first time I came to the hot springs, there was no calming effect whatsoever. I was such a little ball of energy, the moment my parents looked away, I ran off to the high temperature pools. But it's actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally, they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. 
a natural born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. So feel free to go for a swim. I'll be right here if you need rescuing. Okay, here goes nothing. <clears throat> Auntie Atea, you really came to check on us? <laughs> of course. And I'm glad you listened. I brought you all some milk and snacks as well. I'll just leave them here. <sighs> the temperature in the artificial springs isn't too high, so I went with Soros crackers and grain fruit chips. See how you like them. Oh, thank you! Mm, these are great! Well, I did make them myself. <sighs> Very few young people know how to truly appreciate hot springs, so listen carefully. The temperature of the hot spring not only determines the type of snacks you should choose, but also the amount of time you should spend in the water. I would love to go well in this in this region. To bathe in a hot spring is to completely they allow it. empty your mind. As such, swimming around the pool is incredibly disruptive and impolite, and something you should absolutely not learn from Mualani. Hey! <sighs> Alright, looks like you were able to adapt to the temperature, no problem. You should be able to switch to the natural springs then. Well, I've got to get going. Oh, and make sure you drink your milk. I'm looking at you, Mualani. <laughs> I still remember how you used to pour it into the water when you were little. <laughs> that better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. <sighs> okay, okay. Paimon didn't think you were the type to do something like that. <laughs> I remember thinking I'd totally get away with it too. But turns out milk is pretty easy to spot when you pour it into clear water. Hmm, not my best work. You drink the milk and enjoy the hot spring with Mulali. Some people get dizzy if they stay in here too long. You guys all right? Oh man, back to a normal clothes. That's okay. That's Genshin for you. Just a bit stuff. I feel fine too. Looks like you two are naturals. Oh, by the way, I have to leave you on your own for a little while this afternoon. I'm gonna help the others fix up that abandoned spring. I certainly don't trust their aesthetic tastes. Who knows what will become of the place if I leave them unattended. In exchange, though, I can recommend a couple of shops that are worth a visit. As long as we're on the way. Huh? I think that has been really kind to us. Yeah, she brought us snacks and taught us about the hot springs. We want to do our part, too. Friends are supposed to help each other out. We'd feel bad otherwise. Well then, the more the merrier. Mm -hmm. Alright, we should get going. Let's organize the best hot spring gathering Natland's ever seen. She's so energetic, no must. You love Amber. I miss Amber though. We haven't seen her like for a while though. So are we seriously gonna go down there? Hmm, this is an abandoned one apparently. Like what's the big deal with this place? Like what's going on? Well honey! Wait, you brought our guests too? We're here to help! But you're important guests. We can't put you to work. Hmm, we want to do our part. All right, all right. Stop trying to out-polite each other, would you? The sooner we get this party started, the sooner we get to enjoy the real party. Now, where to start? Hmm, looks like the water outlet is blocked pretty bad. We'll need to dig under it. Ooh, those boxes in the corner need to be thrown out as well. They're moldy as all get out. Also, someone needs to go out and get some cloth, wood, and decorations. Oh, and snacks too. I say we get enough for 20 or 30 people. Bulk purchases fetch the best prices after all. Oh, but don't just accept the first offer they give you. Uh, uh, I'm not good at haggling. Why don't you go? Hey, I'm not any better, and I wouldn't even know what to buy. Um, how about we handle things here while you three deal with the shopping? Yeah, that works too. I can introduce you to all the shops while we're at it. Alright, let's meet back here later. Alright, going shopping, I guess? You know, I kind of want to hear, like, them speak Spanish with some English in this in this region. That would be kind of cool. That would be cool. Like how Sayo said they should have had Spanish-speaking people for language choices. Hey there, Yellowfass. Hope business has been going well. Well, if it isn't Moolani, back from the pilgrimage? That's right. Didn't make the cut this year, though. Well, it wouldn't be a competition if everyone got to win. So what'll it be today? Here, it's all on the list. Quite a sizable order, as you can see. So, uh, can we expect a discount? Wow, that is a large order. 
What's it all for? A party? That's right. Uh, keep this between us for now, but... We're throwing a hot spring party for Auntie Atea. Wait, you're saying she can go in the hot springs again? That's great news! How about this? You can have the decorations on the house, and I'll give you 20% off the cloth and wood. Come on, I know you can sweeten the deal. That pile of wood's been sitting there since I left for the pilgrimage. At this rate, you need to get rid of it or it's gonna go moldy. All right, all right. Such a handful. Just give me a moment while I pack all this up for you. Wow, that was amazing, Mulani! <laughs> all in a day's work. By the way, Yellowfath, are these two stones for sale? Interesting. They won't come cheap. I'm not planning to haggle this time, I promise. Package them separately, would you? Are those also decorations? Nope. Kachina likes shiny little trinkets, so whenever I come across something like that, I always buy it for her. I'll hold on to them for now. It'll be a nice little surprise for her when she returns victorious from battle. I'm sure she'll like it. All right, that should be everything. If you could just double check, make sure nothing's missing. Let me see. Huh? What's this crate of juice doing here? That's on the house. Seven years ago, when the Abyss attacked our tribe, Atea saved my brother's life. She never asked for anything in return, but I could never forget what she did for my family that day. So, send her my regards, would you? And have fun! Oh, we will. It's gonna be a party to remember. Thanks a lot, Yellowfath. Well, that's our shopping done. Let's head back. Huh? that will be more than that. Guess we're hurting. Oh, guess we are. We're back. How's everything going? Wow, this place cleaned up nice. You got the water unblocked too. <laughs> Good work. I would hope so. We spent all day clearing out debris from the bottom of the spring. Did you guys get everything? Oh, we brought back tons of stuff. We set it down near the cave entrance. All right then, roll up your sleeves everyone and let's get back to work. Actually, why don't you two take a break? I'll handle it from here. Traveler, mind lending me a hand? Just say the word. So. I was brainstorming on the way over, and I'm thinking we could draw something on the wall over here, and the snacks and drinks can go over there. Okay, go on. Well, she heals it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what do you think? Not bad, right? It looks amazing! I might have no idea you were such a great designer! Well, I'm usually the one in charge of the family store, so I'm pretty good at things like renovation and organization. Not to mention, this was totally a group effort. Still, I didn't expect it to take quite this long. Guess it's too late to invite Auntie Atea over, huh? Yeah, uh, tonight's definitely not gonna work. Chief Amina set up those patrols to guard against the Abyss, and Atea volunteered. So she's on watch tonight. I see. Well, guess the surprise will have to wait until tomorrow. Hmm. This could actually be a good thing. She can relieve all the exhaustion of keeping watch all night by soaking in the hot spring. Ha! She's gonna love it. Well, let's call it a day then. Traveler, Paimon, you must be tired too. Come on, I'll take you to the inn. Oh. So, I guess every tribe has their own kind of inns. I want to see how it looks from the inside. This one, nice! Can I- oh. So, if I swing at it? Oh, they're friendly! I bet you some- I bet you some could be evil, you know? When I start grinding off camera. I didn't count any of those yet. Okay. Excuse me! Oh, the end though. All right, this is it. Get a good night's sleep, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Tomorrow. Good night. Ah, my mind's exhausted. We really went all over the place today, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we need to be well rested for the party tomorrow, so let's head inside. All right, heading inside it is. Can I see what's inside the den? If it lets us? The hell is going on? Uh, hi? What's with all the noise? Traveler! Paimon! Wake up! Mualani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? We just woke up- WHY are the wolves around here? It's the Abyss! Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Mualani! A little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Uh. 
I'm not sure these creatures were well made of. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hang in there. We're here to help. Oh boy, am I being ether or just being <gasps> try to even better? Let's make them what? Whee! Just a good guys. Yep, and again. Careful, oh, careful. Okay, they're not in fact to make it bleed. Wait, ah! I'm the better wolf! Ow! Ow! Get in the water, you bitch! Get in the water! You are going to drown! Oh, you're floating, I don't give shit. Wait, ah! That was good? Oh wait. Is it? Are you good? <gasps> no! Wait, I was doing good! What happened to you? Let's see, right? Lenny! Yeah, I switched I switch my not Lenny for now. Yeah, go Lenny. You got this. <laughs> Thank you. I'm <laughs> Go help the others. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, the purple! Katrina! Hey, I don't know if she's strong. Bounce, bounce, b Okay. She's not doing that good right now, but I'm still grinding for her. But it's okay, it's okay, I'm just having in the meantime. I got like three kills, once a trial, everything else is just stronger. The one strong one. Baseball, them motherfuckers. Bounce and swing! Bounce and swing again. Bounce and swing again. Bounce and swing. Damn. Talk to. Yeah, we got it. We've cleared out most of the monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me ages on my own. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like. I... Okay, after this, I'm gonna, I'm, after this talk, I'm going to end the episode, but it might depend on what the situation is going to be on, though. Alright, what is going on? Are you the chief of this operation? Oh, no, you're not, never mind. Amina! Oh, it's you three. Thank you for helping clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but we don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. All right, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Of course! We can't just sit back and do nothing. On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. We're counting on you. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. I mean, this is the war of Medlin, so... Okay, we'll do with that for next episode. Alright, I'm gonna go there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.